Welcome to a new vlog. Today we're going to answer the question of how fast can you update the e-paper display showed in an earlier video. Is it suitable to display live updating values from a sensor for example? Some people ask these questions in the comments of the previous video so I'm doing some tests to try and answer those questions. Now there will be a big difference between trying to update the whole screen and trying to update just a small section. And that delay might also be related to how fast the processor can send the information to the display. So for example, measuring the time pass between sending the first byte of data to the display and the last byte going out is not that relevant. It might just be a slow processor and the display could accept data much faster. Also in the case of an Arduino, the RAM size is uh, very limited, so a full buffer could not be implemented for this display. This means sending of data to the display is done inefficiently, increasing the time it takes for a full update. You would need about uh, 10k of RAM memory to be able to create a full buffer for this display. So what I propose is to first take a look at the data sheet because it should give us some uh, data on the refresh rate of this uh, panel. And uh, right here on page uh, 13 of the data sheet, we have the image update time uh, given at uh, an ambient temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and for a full update it's uh, 680 milli milliseconds while for a partial update it's just 280 milliseconds. So there you go that huge difference I told you about between updating the whole screen and updating just a small section of your screen. So in a case where the processor is not a limitation at all this screen could update a partial um, area in 280 milliseconds. So I have implemented a real life test with uh, displaying a string that will change on the screen. Here is the uh, demo I've written for this uh, uh, program. These are just a bunch of uh, strings that are being sent one after the other to the display. In between uh, sending these uh, strings I also have to clear the screen for the next string but this is done with a uh, partial refresh so each time I uh, call the display frame it will actually update just a portion of the screen and here is the um, e-paper display updating with those uh, strings being sent it seems like around two frames per second are updated and here is the uh, terminal where we get the um, uh, time it takes for uh, sending just one of those uh, uh, strings. And we can see we get values around 510 milliseconds, which is consistent with what we are observing visually. We get about two of those uh, strings per second. I'm pretty sure this could be improved and uh, I see it as a limitation of how the Arduino library for this display was implemented and also it might be a limitation of the Atmega clock speed. But even so, with two updates per second, uh, you could uh, use this display in many applications. So if you'd like to implement a temperature monitor or a voltage monitor, I don't think you will need more than two updates per second. So there we go. I hope this uh, video answered your questions on the update rate of this uh, display. I'm also interested in uh, knowing how Banggood handled the problem with shipping the bare e-paper displays instead of the complete module like I have here. So let me know in the comment section below if you got any response from their customer service and until they fix this uh, issue I recommend you get these uh, displays from AliExpress or eBay and uh, make sure they they show the picture of a complete module and they also mention it in the description that they're sending the complete module because if they send you just the uh, e-paper display panel then there's little you can do with that as usual don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time